What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing arguably the best Sandstorm combo or weather combo in the game at the moment. We got ourselves a Tyranitar and Sand Rush Lycanroc team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really does go a long way. I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But this team right here is actually a very viable team to push high tier and master tier. So if you guys are looking for a strong team, this team's got you covered. We can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Tyranitar to set that sand, and it's pretty much a strong Pokemon all around. It has the Salt Vest as item, which I absolutely love. Makes this Pokemon 10 times more bulkier. Then it's got Assurance, Rock Slide, Ice Punch, and Terra Blast with that Flying type Terra. Second Pokemon is going to be Lycan Rock, pure Rock type with a Sand Rush ability to double its speed in the Sandstorm. It has Focus Dash as item, Rock Slide, Endure, Endeavor, and Close Combat for its four moves. So I am really liking that moveset. You got the Rock Slide for Stab, you got the Close Combat for Coverage, you have Endure, actually it's Endure Shot, and then you have Endeavor, which is a really, really great move. You can actually bring the opposing Pokemon's HP down to whatever HP you have. So say you're on one HP due to the Focus Dash, you could drop a nice lovely Endeavor, bring him down to one as well. So could work up against the Donzos, I think. Third Pokemon is going to be Rotom Heat. We gave the choice specs, has Levitite as its ability then truck and overheat thunderbolt volt switch and trick to actually choice spec pokemon into or just hand off the choice specs onto like say a physical attacker or a pokemon you know is using like a support move so it could be really really good fourth pokemon is going to be annihilate but annihilate has been taken over the meta with the defiant ability and the choice scarf as item and it's final gambit which is such a strong move especially with uh teams like this where we want to pivot in pokemon such as titar or lycanroc or dodonzo or tasugiri so really like an annihilate on the team i feel like he fits perfectly its other three moves include Close Combat, Shadow Call, and Brick Break. Bottom left hand corner is going to be that Dodon, so it has Unaware as its ability, alongside with the Leftovers as its item. It's got Order Up, Earthquake, Rest, and Sleep Talk for its moveset. Final Pokemon is going to be that Tatsugiri. Cannot have a Dodonzo team without Tatsugiri. Commander as its ability, Citrus Berry as its item, Protect, Draco Meteor, Icy Wind, and Muddy Water for its four moves. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, Rental Code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with the Sand Rush Lake and Rock team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Hydreigon and Dragonite team that also features Arcanine. It has Annihilate, and then it is also rocking the Crimsonarl and Amoogus for two support Pokemon. I really want to take the Weather Control, but I feel like Intimidate can really do me dirty. Say he comes out with the Intimidate, it can really affect me pretty, pretty well here. So I don't know if he's going to do it though, considering they're two Rock type Pokemon. Could be tough. He could go Grimstar, he could go Annihilate, but I feel like they're two very strong options for him. So I might just go, I might go into them too. And if he does go Annihilate, I could just pop into a Flying Terra. I do definitely want to take Weather Control. Or we could lead Dodonzo and Tasugiri. I mean, at that point, then he could just Final game at me, and it, mm, it doesn't really sit too well with me, you know? I mean, I could go into my Annihilate. I wouldn't be too bad. My Annihilate wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. You know, I'm going to lead them too. Do I bring Dodonso and Tasugiri, or do I just bring the Annihilate and the Rotom as back-end support? Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? I do like the Dodonso. I'm going to bring the Dodonso here. We're going to be rocking out with those Pokemon. Dodonso and Tasugiri. This is my first time using it in a video, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. I'm not like a perfect Dodonso player where I know perfectly how to swap in, swap out with them. But we're going to get some wins with it. We got to get some wins. This Pokemon's too OP. It really is. Especially when you get him in. Just insanely strong. But he's going to be tough. It would be a tough Pokemon to lead. I always wonder why people don't lead it more. But I feel like you can just counter it easily with a lead. Especially if they lead Annihilate. You can legit just Final Gambit into it. I'm going to go these two. Uh, kind of looking a little tough. He Final Gambit's me. I still want to Terra here. I feel like Terrasalizing into this. Just in case he wants to go for close combats. Is to play. So I'm going to do that. And I do I Endure? I mean, I have the Focus Dash, so I'm just going to Rock Slide here. I'm just going to straight up Rock Slide. I'm going to Terra type out. He could find him Gambit into me. That would be kind of fine. I wouldn't mind it too much. But I see him more so setting up screens. And I'm kind of hoping he uh, final Gambits into my Lycan Rock. If anything, right? I think I would like that the most. But Lycan Rock might be able to outspeed with the Sand Rush. It does. We have a chance to get a nice lovely flinch off here on both the Pokemon. Which could be solid. One flinch on I don't know who. I don't know who we got to punch on. Might be the Annihilate, I think. But we get the Terra Blast to just finish off this Annihilate, right? 
Oh, we don't pick up the KO. That hurts the soul. Spirit Break comes through. That's fine. We're able to eat that up all day. And we're fine with that special attack drop. We're physical attacking. The Buffets are going to fly, which is lovely. It is beautiful. And another Rock Slide should be able to KO that Annihilate. I don't think this is a bad, bad spot to be. But yo, that's so lame. That my T Dart is taking Buffet damage because I swapped typings with it. That's wild. Sing leftovers? Hey yo. Leftovers are over there. Um, in this point, I could drop a rock slide of my own. Hmm. I mean this would do more damage. This would do more damage. We could go into insurance though. And this Pokemon does it is it gonna take more damage first turn? I mean, it is kind of slower than most. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna stick it to. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going with Terra Blast. I'm gonna I'm gonna rip into this Pokemon with it. I'm just gonna drop a nice lovely Rock Slide. I'm with it all day. I still have my Focus Dash for Lycanroc. Rock. He ends up protecting that Pokemon. That's totally fine. We're targeting down the Grimstar more so. So I'm really cool with that. Parting shots can come out here. That's fine. You can parting shot me, kind sir. You're going to catch this lovely little flying terror shot alongside with this uh, rock slide. I don't mind this turn too much. I really don't. Considering T-Tar is doing some work as of right now and Lycan Rock is still full HP, I'm with it all day. And then we got the combo in the back end. But this thing's about to eat a rock. It's about to eat a rock all but the Intimidate. Intimidate do does do me dirty a little bit. Can we get some crits out here? That was a smart protect from him. That was a smart protect coming out from him. Rock Slide still ripping. Was that a crit? It was a crit, yo. Rock Slide ripping. This thing, of course, has the Citrus Berry. All right, I can deal with it. And I think another Rock Slide still KOs. Terror Blast coming in hot. Chipping up some more damage. So I'm just going to Rock Slide again and then double down into the Annihilate. Not bad start. Not bad start from the Lycan Rock crew. Not a bad start. Still have our Focus Hash, which is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love it. But I don't know if we can KO this... Uh, I don't know if we can KO here. This Annihilate. I don't think we can KO with a Rock Slide. But I'm going to double down into it. I could double Rock Slide, but Terror Blast is definitely the best bet. And Terror Blast, drop another Rock Slide. I think we're fine with him having Grimstar on the back end. He's going to swap probably back into Grimstar, all right? Is Grimmy coming back out here, or are you showing your final Pokemon? Going to be Grimstar. So he wants to Intimidate for later. That's totally fine. Rock Slide's going to fly here. Pick up some nice damage. Give me a flinch. Oh, baby. Yo, the rock side flinch is doing him dirty. Terror Blast flying, and our opponent just turns off his console. I understand. We got a few flinches on him, but still, I feel like we would have won that battle regardless of the, that flinch right there. There's nothing better than making your opponent quit. We just did that in battle number one. Picked up the clean sweep, but check out what we're going up against in battle number two. A complete mirror matchup of teams. Exact same team, exact same stats, exact same items if I had to guess. They even lined up the exact same, so I'm guessing we're using the same rental code. Let's get after it. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. But this one's going to be tough. I think Annihilate could be a decent lead for both of us, right? Annihilate, I'm going to bring in my Annihilate. I might go Annihilate into Tasugiri, Protect, Gambit, bring out the Dodonzo, and then get after the battle that way. I feel like that is my best bet, right? And then have Lycan Rock in the back end. Because if I had to guess, he's probably bringing in the Sandstorm combo. Probably trying to roll out that way. I'm all about it. I am all about it. But how could I counter Dodonzo? That's the real question. How could Jeans himself counter Dodonzo? That's my problem. With another Dodonzo, right? That's my only way. Correct? Makes the most sense. Yeah. My way of countering Dodonzo is going to be with my own Dodonzo. <laughs> I could honestly save Annihilate for the back end. That could work. Put a final Gambit onto it, but Rotom could also be good, but I just feel like having Dodonzo can counter up Dodonzo. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all with it. I'm with it all day. We'll see who our opponent wants to lead. It's going to be T-Tar like a rock. I don't mind it too much. I can freely Gambit into that uh, into that T-Tar, and I can just straight up protect my... Actually, like a rock outspeeds me, which kind of sucks. You might Terra. Like rock does outspeed, but I still feel like if he terrors, we can pick up the KO onto it. Or he terror doesn't matter. I'm, I meant to say if he rock slides, which he might do, we can still pick up the KO. As long as we don't get flinched, just like uh, uh, our last Annihilate we, we burst. We flinched it up twice, which kind of did us good. Kind of did us good, but we'll see what he wants to do here. 
But this is exactly why I did not bring my own T-Tar and just my Lycanroc. I just feel like he was going to bring in T-Tar at some point. So keeping Lycanroc on the field or having Lycanroc in the back end is going to be really good for us. But actually, by the time Lycanroc comes out here, the Sandstorm might be over. He's going to Terrasilize. He's got to be Terrasilizing the, the T-Tar, right? Yeah, that's fine. We're gambiting into that. That's totally fine. That is a lovely little, little Pokemon there. I'm just going to Terrasilize and fly. Do not mind it one bit. Protect comes out from the Tasugiri. And probably Rock Slide, right? Yeah, Rock Slide coming out here. Can you dodge it, Annihilate? Just don't flinch. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. Pokey Gods. Pokey Gods are saying it to me. They're like, Jeans, we're sorry. Um, I could hard swap into Dodonzo here. I might want to. I might have to. I'm thinking of doing it. Yeah, I'm going to hard swap into Dodonzo. That kind of just ruined my whole thing. It really did. I, I'm kind of upset at that. <laughs> I really am. But yeah, I'm going to swap into Dodonzo. And would this do anything? Battling with Tasugiri? I don't think it would. No, I'd love to go for an Icy Wind if I could. But I, I, don't, I don't think clicking any buttons there would do anything while we swap with, into Dodonzo. Unless it happens after the fact. I don't know, but we're going to hard swap into him. Yeah, and I don't play Dodonzo too much, so I don't really know too much. But yeah, okay, he hops right into the mouth. And he's chilling there. So I get all the boosts, plus two on everything. I can pop EQs for free. But at the same time, he is flying Terra type. We boost all of our stats. I wonder what he's going for. He's going to go for a rock side. I think we just dodged it, which is big. Oh, Tatsugiri dodged it. We soaked that up all day. That's light work. And he's going to go for assurance, which is fine. Actually, that did a lot of damage for no reason. I do not like that. It did a lot of damage for no reason. He thought he going to take Buffets. Okay, so Buffets fly out here. Um, I'll probably rest next turn. And we can just roll out and kind of go after. Who should we go after here? We're going to order up. Lycanroc or T-Tar? Hmm. And what's T-Tar's doing more damage to us? So I'm, I'm going to go after Lycanroc or T-Tar here. And Lycanroc still probably outspeeds us. I know we're plus two, but that thing's rather fast in the Sandstorm at least. So it should go T-Tar, Dodonzo, then. Or no, Lycanroc, Dodonzo, then T-Tar. And then I should be able to eat up the shots. Should be able to rest up next turn. Go back to full HP and sleep talk through. Okay, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But we're hoping he doesn't have Dodonzo in the back end. That could get ugly. We'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see. We still have Annihilate, which isn't, isn't too bad. I can always final Gambit and get off as much damage as I possibly can. He's going to Witch all the T-Tar. It's fine. Witch all the T-Tar and going into who? Annihilate comes out here. That's fine. We're attacking that slot, which is huge. So you can't just final Gambit me. Close combat comes through here. Should soak pretty well. Yeah, that's a great soak. That defense drops. We're going to be able to order up. And we're going to get cooking, especially with that attack boost. Order drop coming in hot. Getting some nice damage. So we get that attack boost. And now I could freely EQ. But EQ this turn? I feel like I have to, right? And I like could Gambit here, which could get ugly. Gambit could still do a nice chunk of damage, which I don't like. Do you think he's going to Gambit here? Definitely an option. I could rest. I'm thinking of resting. Hmm. Hmm. I think I have to rest. This is such a good battle. I'm going to rest. I think both these guys outspeed me. I'm resting. Rockside's going to come in here. Tasugiri dodges it. The Donza does not. Do not make me flinch. Is he going for the Gambit? He does go for the Gambit. Can we soak this? We do soak. So a great rest from us. A beautiful rest from us. A beautiful rest by us. Beautiful rest by us. And he does not have Dodonzo. And I can sleep talk through. We slept. We're restoring HP. Give it all back to me. Dodonzo. Dodonzo. So he's probably sitting there like, oh, I can just start doing damage. But. But. We can sleep talk. Dodonzo, baby. Dodonzo. We still have Lake and Rock in the back end. 
And don't we have one more? Or did we gambit? I think we gambit. Did we gambit? No, we still have an eye leap in the back end, which is really solid. I'm gonna sleep talk. And I'm just gonna roll off from there. Special defense is plus two, but still, this choice speckle or Pokemon can do some damage on him, my boy. Don't like it. It's gonna be a good battle. I wish we did have weight crash. I really do wish we had it. Like Rock's gonna go for Rock side. Please not flinch me. He's due for a flinch though. He really is. I'm fast sleep. Can I sleep talk? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So it goes fast to sleep and then the sleep talk happens. So I order up, beautiful. Wham wham wham. Doing some big damage on the Rock. I think it might just go to the Pokemon straight across. Thunderbolt's gonna fire. How much can you soak that? That did a scary amount of damage. Sandstorm does subside. I would love to hit that, uh. I would love to hit that, what's it called? That, uh. That Rotom. But I think we have a chance of being fine at this battle. So I'm not too worried about the T-Tar when my Lycanroc comes in here. I can drop a heavy Rock Slide. It is Flying Terror still, which is great. This is just a solid battle all around. This is a great battle. The Dodge of Battles are long, because you're kind of just chilling with it. But we had a great rest with that. He's going to Endeavor me. I guess that's smart play. Yeah, it does more damage than normal, so. Endeavor doing good. Sleep Toxin come out here. And who's that going to hit up on? Does it always hit up across? Or is that one going after you? It's going after Rotom. That's some solid damage. That's some solid damage. So Thunderbolt flies. He's going to pick up the KO onto me finally. And Tasugiri might be faster than both of these. And if he is, that could be really good for us. Look at a little fish out here. I still have Annihilate. I totally forgot about Annihilate. I'm going to save my Lycanroc for when he brings out uh, the other Pokemon. Now I'm just going to choice. I'm going to be able to outspeed everything. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Uh, do I have to get rid of the Lycan Rock? That's the real question. I would rather choice into a close combat. I honestly would. I think Shadow Claw is going to be my better choice considering it's neutral on these guys and it's going to be neutral on the uh, the T-Tar. That's now Flying Terror type. But uh, who should I take out? I feel like Lycan Rock's a bit more of a threat. So I'm going to take out the Lycan Rock and I'm just going to Muddy Water. I'm going to Muddy Water with Tasu. I'm liking this battle. Yo, we played great in this one so far. Hopefully we can pick up the win. We still do have Rotara. We still do have Rotara, which is awesome. But yo, Dodonzo, we played that one really well with Dodonzo. Perfect time rest. Sleep talks OP when you rest. Because it puts you legit all the way up to full HP. And this guy was probably sitting here, you sitting there like, yo, I have this Dodonzo down to 6 HP. I'm thriving here. And I said, nah, son. We rested up, went all the way back to 230 some HP and just ruined this dude's day. He goes for the Thunderbolt. Does not KO my Tasu, which is beautiful. And we can pop a nice lovely berry. The task who came to play. This Pokemon's low key, low key decent. Especially when it pops out of the, the, uh, the mouth. It kind of is just good for a nice little back end support. Because you take out the Dons, you're like, oh, thank God that thing's over. And then this little fish pops out for a little bit of extra damage, which is amazing. But that's going to be GG's. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon. It's going to be Titar. A nice, long, drawn out battle for battle number two. Nice, long, drawn out battle. Sandstream's going to get kicked up. Again, we have Lake and Rock in the back end. It's no problem. It is no problem. I'm gonna drop a nice little Shadow Call because we're choice into it. And I guess we'll Icy win. Slow that Pokemon down if we can. I can definitely see our opponent cancel in battle, right? I mean, maybe he won't, considering like a Rock Slide could do some nice work onto us. I mean, not onto my Annihilate, but more so my Tatsu. We can take out my Tatsu. We shall see. But yo, I've been playing so good. I've been playing so good. Loving it, loving it, loving it. But so far, after this battle, we showcased the Donzo already and the Lycanroc and uh, T-Tar combo. So third and final battle, we're just going to have some fun with it and pretty much just pick the best Pokemon that we can for that situation. Make a move, dude. You have four options, and they're all Assault Best moves. Rock Slide's probably your best option. We go Shadow Claw, chipping up a little bit of damage. I thought that would do a little bit more. Ice Wind Flies, should be able to do a decent amount with Super Effective. Yeah, I like it. And more importantly, the speed drop. But again, Lycan Rock's here to completely get us this win. He's going to Terror Blast into my Annihilate. And Annihilate might be able to soak that. Can you? You don't. It just absolutely ripped into me. It has ripped into me. But again, it's all good. You set the Sandstream again. And we have the one and only Pokemon that can take you out. The lovely Lycan Rock. Come on down here, Lycan Rock. You can one-shot this thing. And we still have Sash on him, too. 
Well, that was a perfect play by me too to bring in the Lycan Rock in the back end because I even said I was like, chances are our opponent is bringing in Titar, so we don't need a Pokemon to set the Strand Stream for our Lycan Rock. So we can just bring in Lycan Rock on our own, and it just worked out too perfectly. But I'm gonna drop a Draco Meteor. I'm gonna drop a Rock Slide. Game set match. I didn't even use my Terror that turn for this game, right? I probably should have. That's what I should have done. I should have Terrored my uh, my Dodonzo when the Road Time came out on the field. That one's on me because Thunderbolt wouldn't have been super effective. Would have been able to soak it up way more than we normally did. We probably could have gotten an extra one or two turns out of it from Dodonzo. But Rock Slide flies through. We start off 2 0. We can hop to our third and final battle. Look for yet another perfect record for today's video. Third and final battle going up against one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon from this game, a Tinkaton team. It also has Gargle Knack, Annihilate. We've been seeing Annihilate a ton of times on the rank ladder today. And then they got Hydreigon, Golden Go, and Murkrow. How should we play this one? How should we get effort? We could lead Sandstorm combo, right? I feel like that works really well. Annihilate could be a pain here with the uh, whole final Gambit situation. So do I really want to go after that? Hmm. What do I want to do up against this? Because that does look tough. That does really look scary, so I don't know if we should just... What should we do here? That looks awful. <laughs> this looks terrible. <laughs> I mean, Lycanroc Titar is probably your best bet, but still, that Annihilate just does so much up against us. I could go Annihilate of my own. I could definitely go Annihilate of my own, especially because he does have Tinkaton, which has Fake Out. And it could be a problem. Hmm. This sucks. <laughs> this honestly sucks. But you know what? My best bet is she's going to go straight into Sandstorm. I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring Rotom with the choice specs and Annihilate in the back end. Yeah, this is awful. This is terrible. The Annihilate legit counters so much and so tough to play up against considering its typing is phenomenal. You can't fake it out. Not much outspeeds it with the choice scarf. And it could just do so much. Its HP sets through the roof too. So it pretty much can final game at almost any Pokemon. It's just absurd. It is absurdly strong. But I love that Pokemon. I think its design is amazing too. I like it all around. We'll see who he wants to lead. If he doesn't lead Annihilate, then I'll be happy with that. But I feel like Annihilate is just an easy lead to go into. If I saw the Team Dallas version, I'd pick Annihilate all day. Right? It just seems perfect. It seems perfect. There's kind of no way around it. But at least the final game, it takes him out. And no Annihilate. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. The reason I'm all bad is because I got close combat right on my boy. I got close combat right on my Lycan Rock. I'm going to pop close combat and throw it into that. And I could go for an Ice Punch as well. I could also go for Insurance. Or I can look for Flinches here. Hmm. What's Gene's play here? Insurance isn't too bad either. I already taken some damage. I mean, I could go after the Lycan Rock. Well, not the Lycan Rock. I could go after you, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to pop Insurance into that. It's going to withdraw the Hydreigon. Hydreigon's gonna come out here. Do not send out Annihilate. I'd be very upset. Not the Annihilate. It's the Annihilate. Great swapping by our opponent there. Great, great read. I really like that. I really like when our opponents make some beautiful reads. Trans comes out here. He's probably just gonna straight up Salt Cure me. Yeah. The so Salt Cure is flying. Salt Cure's type nice. Salt Cure plays no games. Um, I'm not gonna protect this turn. I think I just have to get after him. He's gonna final Gambit in one of my Pokemon, right? Makes the most sense. Salt Cure's chipping onto me. No bueno. Um, I might as well just go into a close combat here. Makes the most sense. And then if he does not Gambit, we'll go after you. But I feel like it's a Gambit into my T-Tar. He does not Gambit. That's fine. We do that. Close combat drop. And hopefully he's not recovering. If he recovers and reads my close combat going in that slot, smart little cookie play. Rain Punch flies through. Brings me down to 1 HP. I could Endeavor now. Could be solid. So if he does recover, I can bring him down to one regardless. So I don't mind it too much. Aaron's chipping up some damage. Salt Cure's gonna come in here and pick up the KO on me. That that hurts soul. So he picks up the KO. Uh, he has Strain Punch Raider Roll, so I might have to tear my my T Tar at this point. Right, because I feel like Drain Punch has to go into the T Tar slot. But at the same time, do I really want to waste a Tar on T Tar who's dying? Maybe I might have to. I could go Annihilate of my own. Go for the speed tie. Oh, I do like the speed tie action. I think I'm all about the speed tie right here. I think I'm all about the speed tie. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with winning the speed tie. I'm going to Shadow Claw right into him. Looking for the speed tie win. You might even swap. And then I could Ice Punch. We'll do more damage. 
Assurance would do most damage. I'm just gonna Assurance right into this Pokemon. Come on, win the Speed Tie, Annihilate. Win the Speed Tie. You have to win the Speed Tie. Keep my T-Tar alive. Win the Speed Tie here. Counting on a little bit, little bit of RNG luck for me. RNG luck right here. We're due, we're due. We need some luck here. We need some luck. Unless we're just straight up faster, which is like we could be, but chances are most of is just straight speed. Straight attack. Ready to get after. Actually, HP is high. Oh, we do win the speed. Don't get a KO? No! What? Not Annihilate. Come on now. Come on now. That's got to be a KO. That has got to be a KO. Now I'm getting salt cured out here. There's no bueno. Okay, no. Straight recovery. Oh, that's ugly. I don't like where we're sitting at all. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. No bueno. So obviously I could do that again, but I don't think we could do anything onto this Pokemon, right? I think that Gargonac just can straight up take us out, right? Stall us, play play a low, simple game. Actually, I could trick him. I might choice Scott. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to choice choice spec him. Not throw a trick on them. Give him this lovely trick. I feel like it's a must. That hurts the soul that we did not take out that Annihilate. I could have sworn my Annihilate, my Annihilate could do more damage than that. But Shadow Call finally comes out here, takes it out. I get that Annihilates have high HP too. That definitely played a, a huge factor into that. So we do that. We are going to drop a nice little trick. We do get its leftovers. Is it rocking leftovers? What item do you have? Or do you have a berry? We give it the choice specs, and what do I get? A mental herb. Okay, and he just straight up salt cures me. It's gonna hurt. That hurts. <laughs> but he's choosing a uh, salt cure now. Yeah, that isn't too bad. That's probably his best bet. But yeah, this is just no good. This battle's waste. It's over with, right? GG's. GG's, yo. Salt cure is amazing. Slowly chipping up damage to me. Buffets are flying through all around. He probably brings that back out the Hydreigon. And our perfect record straight to the trash. Hurts my soul. Hurts my soul. Hurts my soul. Let's see. Hydreigon does come back out here. Uh, what do I do here? Obviously, I have to Shadow Claw. I'm going to Shadow Claw on you. And I guess I'll Terrasilize into Electric. I'll just go for a Thunderbolt. Because I feel like this, this Pokemon has to change typing, right? It does not. Unless it, it comes after the fact. Which also the Gargle is going to go into dun dun dun, his final Pokemon, which is going to be Murky Merc. You got, so you have to be Terrasilized and Hydreigon, like I said, right? Correct. Okay. Oh, no, that's me Terrasilizing. Never mind. This one's me. Hopefully they are as well. But I don't think they are because I believe Hydreigon should be faster in Rotom. Hmm. No, nah, I think it might just be straight Dark Pulse into me. Are you tearing? Does not. Protects instead. This game stinks! <laughs> <laughs> we go for Shadow Call. Bill doing like three damage, and yeah, which we're, we're, we're not winning this game. Unless I would have Thunderbolt that Murkrow. That would be awesome. That would be great. Sandstorm's gone. Um, Salt is <laughs> chipping, man. He could just legit protect out. There's Soul. Now, is Salt Cure on a turn? That's awesome. Damage is double for Steel and Water type. I did not know that. That's awesome. That's really cool. But I'm choosing the Shadow Call all day, so I guess we'll just Shadow Call. And I guess we'll Thunderbolt here as well. I know going into Murkrow would KO it, but Murkrow's... I thought Murkrow was going to pop a Tailwind. Probably just foul playing me. I'm just going to go after this thing. Could have just... I probably should have just taken out the Murkrow. Maybe we get crit. Getting some damage off. Not bad damage for not very effective move. But Trick of Meteor flies. You're dead. Oh no, you ate. You ate. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad. Foul play coming in here. Can you eat? Oh, you double down on my Annihilate. How dare you? That ain't cool. That's not cool one bit. That's not cool one bit. But now the real question is, now nah, he's just going to Tailwind and take take me out. I was going to say, do I take out the Murkrow or do I run? But he can actually outspeed me and take out my Rotom. So I'm just going to run, save my little light bulb Pokemon, and grab ourselves a 2-1 winning record for today's video.
What a set of battles for today's video. Got to showcase both combos on today's team. We got the T-Tar and Lycan Rock out there in battle number one. Then we got the Donzo and Tasugiri doing absolutely amazing work in battle number two. Then battle number three didn't go so hot. We ended up losing, but still, all around, grabbed ourselves a winning record and had a great set of battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.